I'm Mrs Jones from the Wolverhampton Music Service and in this video I'll be taking you through a short exercise on how you can get used to the feel of playing pizzicato on the double bass. In particular, this warm-up will help you experiment with the sound that you get from your double bass. This is important because Double basses come in a variety and range of materials, sizes, string types, string tensions. So this demonstration of a four note chromatic warm up aims to give you an idea of the way you might want to use pizzicato depending on the style of music you play, the repertoire you're covering, the register that you're playing, or even possibly the number of double basses you happen to be playing with at the same time. This exercise is suitable for beginners, those who vary the type of bass playing they do on a regular occasion. And if you want to pause this video now to pick up your bass, get yourself comfortable, we'll start. Now, my double bass, as you can see, it's got an extension here. It goes all the way down to a low C, which is an octave below our cello C. And the length of this string is huge. It means we've got a really long vibrating string length. When we play pizzicato on the double bass, much like the other bow string instruments, you tend to use either your index finger or your middle finger. Whichever finger you decide to play bass with, it's totally up to you. It's what feels most comfortable for you, really. Now, if I start to play you a four note chromatic exercise, where we go up one semitone at a time, repeating the top note that we get to, and then back down, one semitone at a time, repeating the bottom note that we get to. And I play this in half position, starting on the D string. You'll actually find that when I play, and I'm going to start playing by using just my index finger first, that you'll still hear the short staccato sound of the double bass playing pizzicato. I'll show you this first way. that same four notes but this time I'm going to play pizzicato in that same staccato way using my middle finger this time for the pizzicato. Now as you can see big string length you're getting quite a lot of volume and sometimes you might find as a double bass player you might be playing on your own as a soloist or possibly in an ensemble where the number of double basses will vary. At this point you might want to have a look at the repertoire that you're playing as well as the articulation markings and the dynamics to decide whether this short staccato pizzicato which is coming away a little bit from the strings each time you play is suitable for the sound that you're trying to project or the balance that you're trying to achieve. When you're playing in the higher registers of the double bass, you can still achieve this staccato effect, which I'll demonstrate to you now. I'm going to start on the note D again. Again, I'll play it to you twice using my index finger first and then the middle finger for pizzicato to show you that you get a similar kind of sound. sounds absolutely fine and you might find that that's a, a style of pizzicato that you're quite comfortable with. There is another type of pizzicato playing where we use, possibly for you if you're comfortable with using your index finger, the index finger to curve around the string in a pizzicato stroke 
to get more of a sustained sound. So if I start on my open D string again and using my index finger, that's the most comfortable one for me to play pizzicato in this style with, I'll start to play to you pizzicato on bass but you'll find that this gives slightly more sustained and rounded sound. You might want to use this if you want a uh, long sustained note in your part to continue to ring on through. Or if you particularly wanted to uh, experiment with a jazz type style of playing also. So in this pizzicato stroke, I'm going to curve around the string in towards the fingerboard of the instrument to create more of a sustained sound. I'm going to do this same pizzicato round the string stroke up in the higher register so you can see that we can sustain the sound still. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, you'll find all our bases are different. Sometimes the string tension or the type of strings that you have on your double bass might mean that the tone varies between some of your lowest strings and some of your highest strings. Again, I mentioned you might need to just vary the type of pizzicato that you do dependent on the repertoire that you're playing. In any case, it's really good to be able to experiment getting used to how your bass makes its best sound in either our staccato slightly away from the string sounds and also are curving around the string stroke of pizzicato as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can receive further updates on videos from the music service. Happy playing.